Hey guys, Reethrus here, and this is the investment protection video for the 29 gallon BioCube. Now I haven't rehearsed this, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this in real time. This is the pump back here. Uh, I just disconnect the pump, pull it straight up and out. And what I'm going to be doing is placing a UV sterilizer right here in this tube. Now, all I've got is a simple pair of PVC cutters you can get anywhere. You can use anything to cut this tube, but the PVC cutters give you a straight cut. Now, here is the BioCube uh, UV sterilizer, the version 2. This will run you probably around $80 or so. And this is a very simple add-on. If you do it in line with the tubing, plug it here. All I've got to do is make sure that this is the same height. So it looks as though it comes with two nubs in here. Oh, there's one. There's a couple pieces of plastic uh, nylon tubing in here to make this the same length. But uh, it doesn't matter which way the water flows through this. So just for ease of use, putting it in and out, I'm probably going to put it mount it this way where the electrical cord is closer to the top. And it does not look like there's going to be much wiggle room here. So let's go ahead and try it. What do they say? Cut twice. I don't measure twice. Cut once. I'm going to cut once and not measure at all here. I hope you guys can see this. So I cut that much. And actually, I think I'm going to cut a little bit more. It's going to be a pretty tight squeeze. Trim this down a little bit further. Push one end down there. Oh, that's the pump cover. It's got one end like so. And cut this one. Give myself, I guess I'm giving myself about a half an inch. And then this one. I guess I should use the barb that came with it. So put the barb on top, push this on. That's a tight fit. Okay. Now, we're hoping that this contraption is the same length as it was in here previously. So let's see. I have a feeling it's going to be a little. Tall. Oh, all right, it fits. So that is the investment protection for the BioCube 29 gallon tank. When this is plugged in, you've got the new on the version two of the BioCube UV sterilizer, the, uh, the indicator light, if that light's lit, that means the bulb's working. What I like to do uh, with these is only run them when I have new fish for maybe three days. After I get new fish, I don't leave this running 24 hours a day. If you if you do have an ache problem, so th so what a UV sterilizer does is it passes water by an ultraviolet light bulb and it kills everything in the water column. Whether it's uh, bacteria, algae, parasites, in salt water, most people use UV sterilizers to get rid of cryptocarrion, which is ick. It'll help also help with brooklynella. If you have green water, it'll clear up green water. Primarily, this is an investment protector for new fish. So, when you get new fish, maybe leave it plugged in for three days and then unplug it. If you leave a UV sterilizer and a reef plugged in full time, over time you'll see your, your coral start to retract and get smaller because this will actually kill the beneficial copepods in the tank as well. So, I just use this as an investment protector for fish primarily uh, and a saltwater reef cube that's primarily all you're going to use it for. Rarely do we have algae blooms or anything like that. 
So, this is Reef Thews for Aquarium Outfitters. Thanks so much for watching.